Hello and welcome to our channel. We will continue where we left off from the first Tableau Prep Basics video. Today we will demo how to create other branches, run multiple outputs, join tables, aggregate data, and use the data interpreter function. Let's begin. First is adding a separate branch in the flow. This will be a separate path that we can customize differently and return a different output from the first one we already have. To add a different branch of the flow, click on the plus sign next to our clean step, then click on add branch, and this will add a separate path. In this other path, let's summarize our data by age and city. To do this, we will use an aggregation step. Click on the add aggregate from the plus sign after the clean step, then remove the clean step as we're not going to do any more changes to our table. Then we select the aggregate step and see the available options below. You will see that there are two columns in which you can drop fields. So drag the age and city category to the group fields and then drag the purchases to the aggregated fields column. What this will do is that it will create a new table summarized by age and category. Once the grouping is done, we can add a new output in that path. Again, click on the plus sign and add the new output. Now you have two different results. To run them both, you can click on the play button on the top. Now let's expand our main data with two more tables. First, let's add the occupations table. This contains the name of the occupations from the customers in the main table. Now drag the OCC table to the canvas and let's also drag the product table. Now they have been added as new input steps, but we need to join them to our main table. Click the OCC input step and drag after the clean step. You see how two different options appear when you get close to the step, union or join. A union is just appending both tables one after the other. A join is combining both tables using related fields. Select join and see the options that appear below. In the Apply Join clause, we see the field used to relate the tables. In this case, we're using Occupation ID. Tableau automatically detected it this time, but you can manually change it by clicking in any field. Let's choose the type of join we need. A left join will include everything from our main table and only fields that match in the second. Doing an inner join will only bring the fields that have matching values in both tables. We don't want this behavior this time. Because there are some occupations in our main table that have not been updated in the other table. We also don't want a right join because we will be excluding all purchases with an occupation that is not in the table. One of the cool features of the way Tableau Prep shows the joins is that you can see on the fly the excluded data from each of the joins and a summary of the results. This can help you decide what join you need for your data if you're not very familiar with join types. But if you come from a SQL background, then the summaries are just a nice way to preview before performing the join. Now let's do the same with the products table. Again, we want to include all the results from the left side and only those records from the products that match. Before creating the output for this branch, let's hide one of the ID fields that now are duplicated in our resulting table. And finally, we complete this path by adding a final output at, at the end of this branch. Let's try one last feature in our flow, and that is the data interpreter. This only works for Excel files, and it's an option that Tableau has to help identify where your tables begins and end. Let's see this example. Here you have an Excel file that contains header information in the first rows, and the table that you need is right in the middle and in the bottom you also have some data you don't need in your analysis. To use the data interpreter options in this file, simply add the new connection to the Excel file and then select the use data interpreter option. Now Tableau has split the data in different chunks. One contains the range of the table that we need without all the extra information that was all over the place. If you remove the check from the use data interpreter option, 
you'll see how everything is just in the same table, all messy and with column headers that don't make sense. So let's put it back in. Select the range and drag it to the canvas. Now we add a new output step to export a clean CSV file. And with this, you have created different ways that leads to different outputs, all with the same flow file. This is a very good example of the time that prep application can save you. Next time you want to output any of these cleanup data sets, you can select which one you want to publish, or you can click the button on the top to run them all at once. This is all for this prep basics video. Keep playing with the application. Leave any questions in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Irvin and this is PowerGI.